Good morning, everybody. I would like to share with you a prophetic dream that was given to Dan on the team grafted in Team Jesus about seven years ago, and he was reminded of it, and this is a good time to share it. It's called The Destination of the Lukewarm. It was posted by 444prophecynews.com on January 25, 2021 at 5.31 p.m. And under that they have Dan and TeamJesus222.com. That is their website. This is the warning dream from about seven years ago that Dan wanted to share where he has a physical manifestation after he woke up the next morning. As I slept, the Lord gave me a dream. I came out between two buildings that had been blown to bits in what looked like a war-torn area. I walked with another person, but I did not see their face. However, I knew they were my friend in the dream. We walked down a small opening of concrete that had been blown to bits and shrapnel of all kinds, very bullet-ridden concrete, and then stepped out to the right onto a road. As we came to the end of this town, there were two fields. The one to my right was a field where it looked like corn had been grown because there were many stubbles as if it had been harvested freshly. But the other field to the right of that road, let's see, had been harvested freshly, but the other field to the right of that road had a field that was the same Okay, wait a minute. The one to my right was a field where it looked like corn had been grown because there were many stubbles as if it had been harvested freshly. But the other field to the right of that road, okay, must mean it was beyond that, that field. Anyway, but the other field to the right of that road yeah, had a field that was the same, but it looked like it had been harvested way before the one on the left as the stubbles looked discolored. Okay, well, forget the right and left. I can't figure it out. And maybe he dictated it to her wrong. Hey, it was seven years ago. All right almost yellow. So the one on the left, the stubbles looked discolored, almost yellow. As we looked into the field on the right, there was a large circle that was maybe 200 feet from us to the right and in front of us. So very curious, we went to see what it was. As we approached the circle, it looked like a black goo was in it. The closer we got to it, the bigger the circle got. When we approached, it was when we approached it very closely and stood by it, there was what appeared to be dot 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 and I know this sounds strange, dot, 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 but a board, like a two-by-four, appeared with this black goo all over it, rising out of the middle of this circle. I felt a very evil presence as that happened, and sure enough, Satan appeared right where that board was, almost like the board sort of morphed into him. 
At this point, many people came out of nowhere, some dressed in normal clothes, others dressed in a black cloak with red inside of it with a hood over their faces. Satan spoke and said, If anyone will follow me, I will give you everything that you long for. Who will follow me? Many people said that they would, and when they did, he said with a very evil tone, Okay, good. Well, you can just imagine. And as he looked at the people who would follow him, a sinister smile came over his face. The people who said they would they would started falling forward into the circle of goo, almost as if they were being pulled in. And I yelled at Satan and said, I will never follow you. I have my Lord and my King already. He ignored me and looked past me to my friend, who stood to my right, to my right side, and didn't even ask him. And my friend said, I don't know, as if unsure if he should, and began falling forward. He fell into the circle of goo, and as he did, it caught fire. Now the whole circle was on fire, and I could see many people who had fallen into it already screaming. How horrible. As I tried desperately to grab my friend's arm and slipped down to his hand as I tried with all my strength to keep him from falling, I yelled and said, No, you can't have him. I knew that my friend did not make any choice. Parentheses, lukewarm. Close parentheses. He couldn't even make the decision to say, No, Satan, I'm not following you. And because of it, Satan had that over him. But my finger was all I had left, holding on to his wedding ring that was on his finger at this point, and I knew I couldn't hold on much longer. Because his ring was so hot from the flames, I had to let go as it was burning my right index finger at the top, and I let go. I woke up and was literally hurting in my heart for those who had perished. And because I had been sweating so badly, I went to the bathroom to clean up a bit and saw my face in the mirror. My face was beet red, almost like sunburned. Not only that, but my finger, with which I was holding onto his wedding ring, had a physical dark burn ring all the way around it. I tried desperately to wash what it was on my finger. I tried desperately to wash what it was on my finger off, thinking that I could. But after several attempts, I did not succeed. I did this for three days, each day thinking it would wash off. I did not have a candle next to the bed or even a light on next to the bed or anything that could have given me that burn at all. I am attaching a picture for you all to see the burn mark on my finger and the rest of the parts of my body that were sunburned lasted for three days, then went away. I call this a, quote, physical manifestation, unquote, of my dream. And I know the Lord was showing me that many who are lukewarm will fall into the pit. In other words, they'll go to hell because they don't know how to make a decision for Jesus. 
That was me adding that. They'll go to hell because they're not able to make a decision for their savior. Really? Think about it. Are you lukewarm? I pray you're not. Jesus wasn't lukewarm about going to the cross. Yeah, he didn't want to go when he prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. He said, Father, please take this cup from me, but let your will be done, not mine. He went to the cross for us. He died a horrible death for us. Got a beating, crown of thorns on his head. It was horrible. People have actually looked up what crucifixion and beating with those types of whips they use. It would rip a man's skin open till his guts were hanging out. And then threw a woolen robe over him. I can't stand to think about it. Anyway, I'm going to attach. Let's do it right now. I'll take a little snapshot of this picture so I don't forget. And. Here we go. With that, I'll say. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. And over each and every one of us and our devices and our internet connections and with that i'll say bye for now i'll talk to you later